Bill and I are here to grieve with you, but also we want you to know the entire country is here for you. That's not hyperbole. We mean that. The entire company, country is here for you. And now to today's presidential visit to Lahaina. The first couple, President Joe Biden and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden, spent hours on Maui taking in the devastation of the now fire-ravaged town. And then the president had the chance to hear from the people of Lahaina himself. He met with survivors of the fire and with families who are still deeply grieving the loved ones they lost. To say it was an emotional day on Maui is an understatement. The president and first lady grieved with everyone still stunned by the tragedy that swept through Lahaina. Air Force One landed shortly after 11 o'clock this morning at Kahului's airport. The first couple met with greeters and then were whisked away for an aerial tour of Lahaina. Once they landed in Kapalua, it was time to get a look at the damage up close. The first couple joined by our, our congressional delegation, Governor Maui's mayor and military officials walked Front Street where they thanked first responders and saw just what the fire did to the historic town. The president made a promise to the people of Lahaina. We will uh, be respectful of the sacred grounds and the traditions that rebuild the way the people of Maui want to build, not the way others want to build. We're going to rebuild the way the people of Maui want to build. But, you know, it's going to be hard. The president also made sure to note Lahaina's beloved banyan tree, saying, quote, today it's burned, but it is still standing. He called it a powerful symbol for everyone. And after seeing the damage in Lahaina firsthand, the president met with survivors at the Lahaina Civic Center. That's where we find our Keahi Tucker, who joins us now live. Keahi. Aloha, Steph. The president spent about two hours here at the Civic Center uh, speaking to the crowd and really spending some one-on-one -on -one time, literally with, we're told, about 200 people. Uh, he spoke at length, trying to connect with them about their loss, uh, relating some of his loss in his life, his personal uh, trials and tragedies, and uh, really trying to connect heart to heart, uh, grieve with them, as you heard earlier in the newscast. Uh, let's listen to what he had to say. Well, I've observed in my short time here today is the courage, the community, the sense of togetherness you have. This is not an ordinary community. It's a community based on faith in one another. I've watched. I've had an opportunity to get to know your governor. I know your senators, know your folks. What they said about who you are is true. It's true. And it matters. This town has stood as a sacred spot for centuries. So much history. So much beauty. Just before coming here, I stood in front of the banyan tree that stood for 150 years. It burned, but it still stands. One resident called it a diamond in the rough of hope. Another said, fire cannot reach its roots. I know it's a metaphor, but that's you. That's who you are. That's Hawaii. There's no quit in Hawaii. There's no quit in America. There's no quit in us.